Hey guys, it's Meg. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. So today I have a little bit of a different kind of video for you guys. And I have been scouring the internet and every store I can get my hands on to find the perfect winter boot. Now, I don't know about you guys, where I live it is cold, but we are going on a couple ski trips this year. And I just need some like practical AF footwear because it's going to be really cold. We're going back to Whistler, Canada, and I could not be more excited. We're going on like a little friends trip. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait. I absolutely, my husband and I love Whistler. Like we've been there two or three times, but we've only ever been in the spring and summer. So this is our first time we're actually going to be there when it's beautiful and it's snowy and it's going to be like a winter wonderland. And I absolutely cannot wait. So I have been on the hunt for winter boots and let me, I've done the legwork for you guys so that I can now share with you my thoughts and opinions. I have like an obscene amount of boots behind me and I'm not keeping all of them. I'm going to send two pairs back, but I thought while I still had them, I would share with you guys why I purchased them in the first place and what I think I like about them and hopefully it will help you guys if you're in a snowy wet climate during this winter or if you're planning on taking any kind of winter getaways I think I hope this is going to be helpful for you guys so you don't have to kind of run all around and like uh, it, it was a pain in the it was seriously a major pain trying to find a good show so I want to start off with my tried and true boots that I have had I've worn to Germany we went to Mitten Mittenwald. I keep wanting to call it Mittenworld because it's like this quintessential like beautiful German town and when we went it was February last year that it was completely covered in snow it was just this adorable little village I absolutely loved it um and I wore these with like wool socks and I loved them they were perfect I hiked around I wore them to dinner I wore just these shoes and I had a pair of flats with me that I didn't even wear and they are the classic six inch Timberland First of all, these boots are a year old and I wore them to death and in my opinion, these look fantastic. Like I haven't cleaned them, I haven't done anything with them, they've been in the salt, I've shoveled in them, I've gone tree hunting in these for like a Christmas tree, I've hiked up mountains in them in Germany, like this boot is the boot that you can't kill. I mean if you are looking for, now for me, I've worn Timberlands ever since I was like little. I love them. I think they're just like the best boot. When I was younger, all my sisters had like snow boots, like the Duck LL Bean boots, like those kind. And I just hated them so much. I don't know what it was. Like I refused to wear snow pants and I hated snow boots. You can ask my mom. I would put... I would either wear my Timberland boots, I had them in like Smurf blue, I don't know what the hell I was thinking about getting them, but they were literally like Smurf blue, and I would put big wool socks on and put a plastic bag over my foot and put my Tims on because I didn't want to wear snow boots. Um, these are waterproof, and with a wool sock, I found that these were cool but functional at the same time. I absolutely love the matte black. I love them so much. I bought them for my daughter last year in purple. I'll try and insert a picture if I can find them. She, she loves them. She also thinks they're just like so comfy and cool. She always wants to wear her snow boots. That's what she calls them. And this year we couldn't find a cool color for her in her size. Um, so we went with the matte black and she picked them between the matte black and the hot pink, like the all pink ones. And she chose the matte black. So now we'll be twins, but I really love them and my daughter loves them. This is just, I, I, I just think they look so sharp. Like, they kind of look like badass, but they're really practical. And I love the look of these with, like, a chunky, like, cream sock and over skinny jeans. And I think it just is such a functional winter shoe. The tread on the bottom is really great. Oh, anyway, these are a boy size 5.5. I'm a women's 7.5, like, true size. Like, I always get a 7.5. These fit me great. You can save a little bit of cash if you want to go with the boy size, um, or you can hit up an outlet store um, and see if they have your size in the women's. So I would say if you're up to like a size eight and a half in women's, you could probably fit yourself into a kid's, a big kid, five and a half, six, or six and a half if they go up that high. Um, so I would definitely give that a try. I'll link these down below. Love these. They're so good. Okay, so behind me, you're going to be like, oh, Megan, isn't that another pair of black Timberlands? Why, yes, funny you should mention that. 
it is. So this is the boot that I ended up with. And okay, these are the eight inch, they're taller. These are also fleece lined and they're fully waterproof as well. Okay, so I hope you got a good look at the inside. It's a teddy fleece lining is what I think they call it. This is also waterproof. It has an ortho instep. These are very comfortable. The bottom is still a lug boot style, but the tread is different compared to your classic Timberland boot. They actually even like look a little bit slimmer from the side. If you guys can tell, the tread is different on them. Um, they feel very similar when they're on though. I also don't know if the difference is because these are technically a boy's shoe and this is a women's size seven and a half. I don't know if there's a discrepancy in like the tread they use for men and women's. Personally, I love the classic Timberland tread. So I kind of wish that this tread was on the bottom of this. Um, like I said, I just bought these this year, so I haven't worn them in the snow. I don't know how the traction is. I just like the look of this one better. Not that it matters, you guys, but you're walking on it, but just from the side, I kind of think these look cooler. So they're still jet black. They look really good, but they do have a very different look to them, as you guys can see. This one has the leather kind of wrap around. This one does not. These are fully fleece lined. These just have your traditional Timberland lining. Now, I went with these because, like I said, we are going to Whistler. I'm going to bring two pairs of shoes. I'm going to bring these and then another pair I'm going to share with you guys. Um, I really wanted something that had a lining in it. I know when we went to the top of the Zooks Fix, I think that's what it's called. I don't know. It might I might be pronouncing it wrong. It's like one of the taller mountains in Germany. It was freezing up there. And I know Whistler is going to be colder than where we were in um, Germany. So I wanted something that was fleece lined or thermal lining, something like that, just to add a little bit extra warmth. I knew I definitely wanted a waterproof boot. I do like how these go up higher because it will, you know, kind of keep more of your leg warm than these will. I'm still planning on wearing a wool sock with these and I'm going to see if it's too much. Um, it might be too much warmth that and then this fleece lining. But a lot of ways you'll see these boots are you'll see them folded down. These are pretty stiff because I just bought them. You can fold them down and then you get like a pretty cool look with the boot like that and it gives you more of that traditional six inch feel to the boot even though you have an eight inch like tall portion up here so wearing them for like functionality i'll be wearing them just tall with socks and i really liked them i was gonna get a different color just because i thought it was kind of insane to have two pairs of black all black boots but i tried the gray on and they were pretty but i just I didn't really like, I don't know, I wasn't drawn to them. And then the classic ones, I love on other people, but I just feel like on me, I like the all black. I don't know what it is. Um, they're like a little bit combat bootish, but I really like them. And after all the boots I've tried, these were just like my hands down favorite. So I got a women's seven and a half. I'm really excited about these. Okay, you guys. So the next pair of boots on my list are these. <laughs> they're kind of insane looking, but... I tried them on and I was like, I have to have these. Like, they just felt good. I felt like they looked really cool on. Like, I don't, I'm not sure how practical they're going to be, but like they're made for the weather. They're made for, they're waterproof. They're fleece lines. I mean, these are like some serious boots, but they're like actually really cute. Like, I, you guys, I don't know. Like when I saw them in the box, I tried them on as a joke with my sister, Caitlin. I was like, I got to try these these things on they look ridiculous and then we were like wait do we kind of love these and I ended up buying them because I was like they're just like the perfect boot so they're completely lined it's a waterproof fleece lined boot I love these I think they're gonna look so cool with like a thick black sock at the top and jeans there is a wedge in them so obviously these are not gonna be like your hike up a mountain boot these are gonna be more of like walking through Whistler Village in jeans going to dinner and it's a more cool casual vibe but like you're still so protected from the elements so i really love these i think they're really cool i got these on sale at nordstrom rack they do have a bunch of different colors they come in solid colors as well i will link them down below for you guys if you want to take a look i just think they're like a really cool shoe i mean a lot of people don't like a wedge sneaker or a wedge boot 
and I never really thought I was like into the wedge boot, but then I tried them on and I was like, yes, I love these and I have to have them. So yeah, I'll let you guys know how these work out, but I really like these. This is supposed to be a pretty good brand for like winter boots and stuff like that. So I'm excited about those and I think they're going to look great with like black jeans and a chunky sweater. Okay. The next boot I picked up is also by Timberland. I just, like I said, I've always loved Timberland. I've worn their stuff for years, and the quality is really good. So now when I saw these on Timberland's website, I was like, yes, these are the boots I've been waiting for. I need them. They look so good. They're going to be fleece lined, like they're Sherpa, whatever. I, I think they're Sherpa. And then I got them, and I was like, what the heck? They're not fully lined. So, And the box does not say they're waterproof either. They're like a really pretty soft like suede leather material they're gorgeous and I feel like it's the perfect like lumberjack chic boot like this with like a buffalo check shirt and like a really big beanie and a scarf like how cute right and skinny jeans but I just don't think that they're actually functional for what I needed for this trip um, I know I would wear them all throughout the winter in Pennsylvania but I was nervous that they didn't say that they were waterproof and when I got them out of the box, I realized that the lining stops right here. So I realized the lining stops right here. You're really only getting that Sherpa around the ankle and just the very top of the tongue of the boot. You guys can see it stops right here. So yeah, my ankle would be like really fiery warm, but I just felt like the tip of my toe, which is the first thing that gets cold on me, is not going to be as warm. So it's a very slim profile boot compared to the Timberland Classics. You guys can see that. Like, it's just a narrower toe box. And I honestly just didn't like how they weren't as chunky on the bottom as the... But right. for me, it didn't feel as substantial as the Classic Tims. And I just... I would keep them if they didn't cost $200 and I just spent like a million dollars on all these other boots. Um, I just don't need 27 new pairs of boots. So, so I am going to send these back, but I would recommend them if you're not looking for a full snow boot. So super cute. If you don't like the look of a classic Timberland and you want a boot, I think this is a really great option. Um, it's a more feminine look, in my opinion, than the classic six inches and definitely more feminine than the eight. Okay, guys, so I have one last pair of boots to share with you, and they're the Sorel. These are... A waterproof super high fully lined in like Sherpa soft material I got a seven and a half in these they are women's they lace up the top and it's like a traditional LL Bean like duck style I don't know I always call these like duck boots I don't know if that's what everybody else knows them as but the tread looks like this and for me they kind of go like up a little bit I don't know I don't like how when you look at the boot, it kind of slightly goes up. And for me, the Tim is flat. I just like the feel of the 8-inch Timberlands in replacement of a, a boot like this. I bought these. I thought I loved them. When I tried them on with my coat, the colorway like, wasn't really a good match. I just don't think I like the color that much. So I think in black or like the camo color, I would have liked them better. Um, that's really the only thing about them. Personally, I do prefer walking on the Timberland sole than this. It's more of a narrow toe box, I would say. But what's great about these is if you have a hard time fitting into boots that go up the calf, I really don't think you're going to have a problem. I mean, these things really stretch out far and wide. You can really fit most size calves in here, I would say. Um, it's nice that they are adjustable with the strings. You're kind of not restricted in the movement you have you can tie them up as tight as you need to or leave them looser you could definitely fit a big thick sock under here like these are going to be really really warm these are super cute and really comfy but i am going to stick with the shorter sorel boot and the high top timberlands those are my top two choices out of the boots that i have to share with you guys i hope that you enjoyed seeing this wide variety of boots um, I hope that maybe this gave you a little bit of insight or just my opinion on kind of what I was looking for. If you're looking for a full-blown snow boot that's going to keep your foot warm, I definitely think that this would be a great option for you if you're not into the whole Timberland vibe. They are like a little bit harsh looking, I think, but that's one of the reasons why I love them. So if that's not really your vibe and your style, then I would definitely recommend these. I think the quality is really nice, and I've heard great things about them. Um, I just 
there's so many different color combinations and I know the Joan of Arctic one is a similar shape like this but you got a big fluffy fur thing around the top and those are really cute too so I will go ahead and link all of these options in the description box below for you guys so you can go ahead and check out the different colorways and see what options there are I hope this was helpful or informative if you are into winter boots thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed and found it helpful and I'll see you in the next video bye